The first thing you need to know about me right now is that I have an erection. <gasps> oh, and also welcome to Formula One Manager. Anyway, the reason I do have an erection is because this is Formula One Manager 22. A game that I have been so excited for. It's a game that I've been playing for the past, what is it, two weeks now? And I am in love with it. Look, I last played it on the 5th of the 9th, 2022, at 1 o'clock in the morning. So, I figured, you know, because I'm in love with this game so much, um, why not record some? Because I'm going to keep playing it, because I always do. So I figured, why not kill two birds with one stone and record some? So we're going to do that today. We are going to take on the world of Formula One. Formula One, a sport that spans hearts, minds and nations. Where the 20 best drivers in the world come together to take on some of the world's most historic circuits. And that legacy continues today. The 2021 championship was thrilling from start to finish and 2022 is set to be even better. New regulations will usher in an age of pioneering changes. New driving talent alongside returning champions will be dueling it out to the bitter end. The pressure will be on the team principals in the upcoming season as they manage their drivers, their cars and the whole team to push to victory. This is not a challenge for the faint-hearted. This is Formula One. Mercedes returned to F1 in 2010, and since 2010, right, well, they've won the construction. Shut up, Crofty. So the question is, ladies and gentlemen, which team? Uh, obviously, you know we've got Mercedes, we've got Red Bull, we've got Ferrari. Lord knows they need some help, don't they? They need some. They need lots of help. We're gonna go for Aston Martin. I've already thought of a name for my gentleman. You know, we've had we've had Charles Toenail, the very famous MotoGP rider. He did very well for himself. We're gonna be very good at this. No, no, no. You see, that's not a breaking point. We've also had Dot Cotton. Oh, it must be this way because there's a guy there. Okay. Oh, piss. She, however. Um, I realise now was probably in a little bit bad taste based on the fact that I'm pretty sure Doc Cotton in real life is dead. So I have decided to name this team principal Skidmark McFadden. And you see, there's a funny joke in there because the skid marks could refer to tyre marks on the road or it could refer to the shit stains on the back of your pants. Here we are then. Our team is right here ahead in front of us. Look at this, we've got an email that says welcome. Welcome to the team, Skidmark. Thank you very much. Right, uh, first things first though, we need to deal with the trash. Ooh, who do we want? Should we just have a look at overall rating? Lewis Hamilton, not interested, all right. Charles Leclerc, not interested. Okay, Sergio Perez, not interested. Carlos Sainz, not interested. Valtteri Bottas is interested. There's potential there. George Russell, not interested. Lando Norris is interested. Lando Norris, proposed contract. You're probably going to want quite a big salary. We're going to do six milli and we'll give you a starting bonus of... What about... 200... And we'll do a race target bonus of 200 as well how about that fella and you can get that 200 if you finish anywhere in the top six because you'll never finish in the top six ever and that is what oh he look he love oh oh, oh, oh. Mm. okay fine top 10 and i'll pay you 10 mil <laughs> 10 mil salary that is a good goddamn deal Lando because let's just let's just remember that you have not won a race yet so I feel like I'm being robbed a little bit here 
Race target bonus. Okay, I'll admit the race target bonus was a little low. I was I was trying to push me luck. Okay. I'll ad I'll admit. What about if I give you one million? Fuck me, one million for just finishing in the top ten. That seems a bit stupid, doesn't it? Oh, he'll never finish in the top 10, so I don't need to worry, to be honest with you. Oh, he's happy with that. Of course he is. Oh, no, he's fucking not. You want longer. Okay, five seasons. There you go. How, how's that? Brilliant. Let's hire him. Welcome to the team, Lando Norris. I mean, we're now stuck with you for five years, so... I bloody hope you're worth it. You're getting paid one million if you finish in the top ten, which the good news is probably won't happen this season, so don't really need to worry about that. Sebastian Vettel and Lando Norris. That is a good pairing. That is a good pairing. It's the British German connection. And then we got this a season kickoff party. Maria. Good morning, Skidmark. We've had an idea for a season kickoff party to bring everyone together to celebrate the team. We'll need a budget approval if we want to go ahead with it. What do you think? Oh yeah, I love a good party, me. I love a good party. Let's do it. Bahrain. Oh, this is our post-testing results. Um, we're 17th in the top speed. We're 15th in the low speed corners. 19th in the medium speed corners. Ha 19th in the high speed corners. Uh, DRS 17th, um, dirty air cornering 17th, 19th, 19th, brake cooling 17th, engine cooling 17th. We're a bit shit really, aren't we? Reach Q2? That's never going to happen. Qualifying position 15th. Lando might do that. He might do that. So we'll put that in. We'll put that in because Lando could potentially make that. Fastest lap. Well, we're obviously not going to be able to do that, are we? Finishing 15th? Uh, we might be able to do that. We might be able to do that. I'm happy with that. I'll see you all in Bahrain. Welcome to the archipelago of Formula One. Bahrain might have a small land footprint, but it's showing its big spirit right now in the grandstands. Either way, it's time for another fantastic weekend of Grand Prix racing. The Bahrain International Circuit is a challenging track and the cars routinely have to brake from high gear to low to take the narrow turns. With the need for downhill braking, the risk of locking up is one drivers will need to manage. It's all about focus and balance to get victory here. We might still be early in the season, but that doesn't mean we can sit back and relax. Everything is up for grabs and nothing is certain at this stage. The competition is on. Welcome to the Bahrain Grand Prix, everybody, and welcome to practice, because this is where we find out how good our car really is. Well, we know how good it is, and the answer is not very. What I mean is, this is where we have to set up the car for the drivers. Not something we're particularly going to be great at, if I'm completely honest with you. This bit pisses me off in this game. Now, if you've ever played Motorsport Manager, this is very much the same sort of thing. You just move the things and hopefully it works out. I don't really know what to do, to be honest with you, so I'm just going to leave it as it is at the moment. Hello? Hello? Drivers? Drivers? Are we there? Can you hear me? Radio check? Nope, they're both blanking me. Okay, this is a good start. And there he goes! Sebastian Vettel is out on the track. Ooh. I mean, it's good. This is good news. Oh, this game is stunning, isn't it? Like, this is a management game. And for some reason, they've decided to put this much effort into it. Like, I was expecting something like Motorsport Manager. And the fact that they've gone ahead and put this much detail into it... It still blows me away, even after like two weeks of playing the game. And also the sounds as well, the sounds are really good. 
I love listening to the sounds of these cars. I mean, it's no V10, but, you know, we'll gloss over that. Anyway, Lando. Off you go, lad. Oh, there he is. Loving life. Oh, he's got a green helmet on. Hang on a minute. Did you see that? Did you see that green helmet? Oh, it's a generic helmet. Oh, he doesn't have his official helmets anymore because uh, he's been moved out of... So, yeah, these guys right now, both drivers are just going out, getting a feel for the car. And hopefully, they'll come back and tell us what they think of it. The thing that I find quite interesting is Lance Stroll has decided to take Lando Norris's street seat. Can't speak. Lance Stroll has decided to take Lance Lance <laughs> fucking hell. Lance Stroll has decided to take Lando Norris's seat at McLaren. Bit of a downgrade, especially since in 2023 they're getting Oscar Piastri. But that's for Daniel Ricciardo, not... Oh! Antonio Giovinazzi is in for Ferrari. And Leclerc has been binned off. Now that... is incredibly interesting. Oh! What's your thoughts on coming in or doing any more? Seb hates his car. He hates it. He can't stand it. He thinks it's garbage. Well, come in, Seb. We'll sort that out. Christ, look at how bad the straights are. Should we just go there? I mean, everything's in the blue, so let's just... Yeah, let's just leave it like that, shall we? <laughs> I don't know. There we go. Lando Norris. He's looking... Oh. I'm struggling and it's getting worse. Oh, okay. So he, he thinks the car's shit as well. Good. Good start. Good start to the season. There we go. So we finished 19th and 15th. Not looking great for her. Not looking great for her at all. So now that we've sort of got a decent confidence set up for Lando. The next thing we want to work on for him is track... <laughs> why can't I say... Track... Why can't I say that word? What is wrong with my lips today? Uh, we also want to work on car parts knowledge, but... I'm not really worried about that because that'll just sort itself out over time anyway. As will the track acclimate. What the fuck am I trying to say? Let's. Should we do practice two? Uh, uh, Alright, go on. Let's do practice two. The worst thing now would be for one of my drivers to crash. Did anybody just see that flashy yellow flag there when I said that? Like that one there. It was a bit scary, wasn't it? When I said... Like oh, Leclerc! Leclerc is going for a spin. Is it Leclerc or Leclerc? I don't know. He's a monogasque. But the monogasque has gone spinning off the track. And Ferrari are absolutely fuming. Oh my god. They're mental. They're absolutely mental. Seb is happy with the car. Good news for once. Great. Really glad you're happy with the car, Seb. Um, there's no point sending you back out. There's only four minutes left in the session. Right. Continue. Continue. Simulate practice because I cannot be arsed watching those guys toddle around for another hour. Where did we finish? Lando finished... 16th, Seb finished 18th. Okay, that's not great. 81 and 73, I'll take that. That's not bad on the set of confidence. Qualifying. Can we get out of qualifying? Q1. Oh, I don't know, like. Ready, check. Yeah, loud and clear. Okay. Qualifying one. Green flag. <laughs> 
We're going to send out Sebastian Vettel straight away. There he goes. There he goes. Can he get out of Q1? Probably not. The car is probably going to be a pile of shade. Lando Norris, he's coming straight out as well. Can he make it out of Q1? Well, honestly, no, probably not. I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest with you. Um, anyway, here he goes. He's off. He's off. DRS open. Look at that. Oh, it's a good-looking car, like. It might be shite. Well, no, it is definitely rubbish. The car is definitely rubbish. Let's not. There's no mistake about it. But it looks good, doesn't it? It's a good-looking car. It's just a shame that it's not very quick. He's looking neat and tidy so far, I guess. I don't know. I mean... Looks alright. Landro is quicker in the first sector, though. This is very interesting. I mean, there's not really much going on, really. Is there anybody else out on track? Or is it just Seb? Oh, no, there's loads of people out on track. Is Lando going to go quicker in the second sector? I think he probably will. Um, but that's fine. Let's see what time Seb puts in. He's coming up to the line now. Okay, here we go. And it's a 1.33.5. That is not good. <laughs> that is not a good time. Anyway... Lando Norris, let's switch over to him. Here he comes, up to the line. He is going to do a 133.0. That's better. That is better. The question is, who's behind him? Answers on a postcard, please. We don't bloody know. Oh, it's Sonoda. Uh, hang on, where's Sonoda? Sonoda, coming up to the line. What's he going to do? It's going to be... Not a timed lap. <laughs> he hasn't done a timed lap yet. Okay. Leclerc has though. Oh my god. We're 1.7 seconds back on Leclerc. Oh. We are quicker than Lance Stroll though. Hang on. Let's have a look at his helmet. Oh, he's got a black and orange helmet on. It was an absolute genius move. Going after Lando Norris. Because what we've done is, we've managed to strip McLaren of their only good driver. <laughs> because, you know, I love Ricardo, but he's not... 17th is not gonna... is not good. And Stroll, we've managed to pull a bloody blinder there. Steal McLaren's decent drivers and boom. Now they suck. Latifi's locked up. Nothing out of the ordinary there. Lando Norris is beginning his flyer. Let's... Shall we ride on board for this one? Let's ride on board. Let's do this one. No, hang on. Let's do this one. Right, we're riding on board with Lando Norris. Look at that. He's He's got it on the track so far. Lando, if you win this, if you do this, I will kiss you. I'll give you a big slobbery kiss. Honestly. It'll be amazing. It'll be the best kiss you've ever had. Well, that's probably not true because you've probably kissed like supermodels and stuff. So kissing me is probably a bit of a downgrade. But I'd, I'd do it anyway. Right, where's Lando going to go? Everybody watch the timings. He's... Oh, fuck's sake. He hasn't improved. He has not improved. Flippin' heck. Where's Vettel gonna go? Oh, he didn't improve either. Oh. Well, that was anticlimactic, wasn't it? Ah, uh, okay. No, we're okay. We're okay! Lando Norris, P15. Get in, lad. Come on. How are you? Bugger. Yeah. Okay. Let's send Lando straight out. I do only think he's got one set of tyres for this, though, so... We are in a little bit of a pickle there, but we'll gloss over that. Let's just, um... I might have released him a bit too 
early there. He might get stuck in traffic. Oh shit. We're missing his lap. Oh, he is. He's getting stuck in traffic. Oh no. Well, his lap is going to be garbage. Who the hell held him up? It was one of the Mercedes. If it's Hamilton, it is Hamilton. Get that old man out of the sport. No, I'm joking. <laughs> joking. Joking. Please don't let the team LH fans find me. I'm sorry. It was just a joke. It's just a joke. It was Hamilton is... Well, he is an old man, but, you know, we'll gloss over that. Now, okay, so let's have a look then. We'll ride on board again for this one. It builds up some tension, doesn't it, if we ride on board? Right. Lando Norris. Let's see what Lando Norris can do. He, there's no way in hell he's making it into Q3, but... Fingers crossed! Lando Norris is still dead last. 15th. Okay. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Bahrain Grand Prix. We're finally here. The Grand Prix that we've all been waiting for. Now, we're going to put Seb on a very, very aggressive strategy. Actually, I don't think that's possible. I don't think I've got... Have I got two sets of softs? I do. Okay. A very aggressive two stop strategy soft medium softs you don't have any softs left this might be a problematic situation oh you know you've got one pair of softs left okay your strategy is gonna, is gonna have to be that um, it's a sl it's the slower strategy I'm also not convinced it's going to work in your favour, but we're going for it anyway. And we want you both to be very aggressive at the start. We want you both to be very aggressive. I like aggressive starts, so be aggressive. Be tough, lads. Ladies and gentlemen, the wait is finally over. It is time for the Bahrain Grand Prix. It is time to see how well Skidmark McFadden can manage a team. Let's start the race. Clear skies tonight with the drivers having now arrived at their grid positions. And there's Lando Norris. They're starting in the bottom half of the grid today, so there's a lot of cars between them and the podium. And for the second driver, it's Sebastian Vettel. They'll be starting the race from the bottom half of the grid, so there's a fair bit of ground to make up. And we're just moments away now. Here we go with the Bahrain Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It is a good start by Lando Norris. Good start by him. Um, can't really see what he's up to, but he's in there somewhere. There he is. He's on the outside of Daniel Ricciardo there. Um, is he going to get him? No, he's not. But that's okay. He's still in the mix. He might get him. He might get him going into this cut. Oh, he's not. He's nowhere near him. He's nowhere near him. He was never going to get him in a million years. If we ride on board with him, we can see that Daniel Ricciardo is the better of the two at the moment. That is the first time in 2022 anybody's ever said that. But there you go. Um, Seb, how are you doing? Seb is... He's... He's currently fighting with Mick Schumacher. Um, I mean, it is what it is, isn't it? Neither of my drivers have really gotten the starts that I wanted. Lando looks like he's going to get overtaken by Lance Stroll, which, I mean, unless you're one of the four Lance Stroll fans in the world, 
you would just want to die, really, wouldn't you? But, you know, all's well that ends well. How's the battle at the front? Oh, Verstappen's running away with it. Well, it's nice to know that part of the game's realistic. Lando Norris is being left behind by Daniel Ricciardo and is currently fighting with Lance Stroll. I mean, this is mildly embarrassing. DRS has been enabled. We're going to give Lando Norris overtake. Um, I should have really done the same with Seb, but he's already one second back, so it's kind of pointless now. Uh, right, Lando. I'm giving you permission to use overtake. Get him. Get Ricardo. I doubt he's going to do it until the end of the lap now. So we'll switch back to Seb, see how he's doing. Yeah, I mean... Oh, well, no. All right, we'll give Seb overtake as well. He might be able to get Mick Schumacher here. Might be able to. I'm not convinced, but... Oh, well, no, he is closing up the gap now. We'll just leave them be. Let's switch to Lando. No, Lando still not getting it. Meanwhile, at the front, Carlos Sainz, of all people, has taken the lead of the Grand Prix. No idea when he did that or how he did that, but he has. Verstappen is in pursuit, however, and with DRS, I imagine, is probably going to get the move done on this lap. I mean, this is way more exciting than our... Oh, Lando Norris has gained a position. Has he? Oh, so is Seb. Oh, but... No, Seb... Norris overtakes Ricardo. Let's have a look at this. Oh, look at this. It's a lovely move down the inside here. That is brilliant. Brilliant by Lando. Uh... Meanwhile, Sebastian Vettel uh, is still fighting with Lance Stroll. Yeah, there we go. Stroll down the inside. Absolutely pissed on Vettel's chips there, didn't he? Right, well. Verstappen. Oh! Whoa! They've hit each other! Oh, look at that! Carlos Sainz just turned in on him. The team are devastated. They'll be questioning just what happened out there. Oh my god. Oh, Verstappen. Has Verstappen got a penalty? Verstappen's got a penalty for that. Verstappen got a penalty for that. Oh, there's a car out. There's a car out. Is that Carlos Sainz? Carlos Sainz has got the car going again. Norris has overtaken Verstappen. I don't know how... Did he just do that? Oh, but that's not really... Jesus Christ. I mean, it was quite easy, Crofty. The cars would pull over to the side. I don't know why. <laughs> Right, so science, science must have. Does he have damage? I don't think he does. Oh, Verstappen is making his way back up the order, though. That's a little bit sad. However, Seb could use this as an opportunity to get a couple of overtakes done here. Lando Norris is actually on the back of Yuki Tsunoda in all this chaos, and we didn't even realise. He's been pushing very hard on these tyres, actually. The temperatures are probably sky high. Actually, they're not hugely bad. But it doesn't matter, actually. Because Lando Norris has gone down the inside. And we didn't even notice. Because we were too busy looking at tyre temperatures. Oh, I've just trotted my microphone. <laughs> anyway. Oh, we've just lost ERS. That is a slight issue. Um... We'll just put it in neutral now. Oh my god, Lando Norris has just got a knock on as well. 
The man is making moves everywhere and we just cannot keep up with him. He's just, he's all over the place. We're only on lap five. Holy shit. Ocon is going to come back at him though and probably going to get around the outside here. Oh, he might not. He might not. He didn't. He didn't. Fuck you, Ocon. You French prick. Sorry. Uh, there's no reason to bring race into it. It's just funny. Anyway. Um, no. Look. Uh, oh, I don't know. Standard or aggressive? We'll go aggressive. But we need to bring the temperatures down. Because we're still a little while away from the pit stop. Um, Seb. Seb is on Lance Stroll here again. Um, I mean, he's probably not going to be able to do it, really, is he? Right, I think the best way for Vettel to get past there might be in the pit stops. Um, so let's just wait a little bit. Let's just back off a little bit and do some harvesting. Bring the tyre temperatures down and then we'll go again. He's actually got loads of fuel, so I could arguably put him up in a push, but I'm not going to. Not yet, at least. Right. So. We've just entered the pit window. Ocon has just overtaken Lando Norris here. We pretty much expected that to happen, even though Lando Norris is now coming back at him. Bloody hell. Lando Norris, kid. Look at you go. It's hard to believe he's only one year older than me, isn't it? <laughs> Is he even one year older than me? Or are we the same age? I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway. So. Lando's holding on. Lando is holding on. We're now in the pit window. He could go for longer. He could go for longer if you want to. Uh... Yeah, we're going to pit Lando now because he's going on to the hard tyres. Yeah, well, don't sound too enthusiastic, Lando. Jesus Christ. So here we go then. 2.8, not a bad stop. Not a bad stop. Here he goes. Right, we're going to go very aggressive. Very aggressive. Hopefully, Lando might be able to stay ahead. Uh, right now, let's switch the focus to Sebastian Vettel, who is struggling to get past Mick Schumacher and Lance Stroll. Let's go aggressive and use overtake. Let's see if we can get in front of them before the pit stop comes up. If he can't, then we'll pit him and put him on new tyres and maybe that'll do the trick. Either way, the one thing that we don't want is Lando Norris to catch up to us. Because if that happens, we're in trouble. Oh, here we go. Lance Stroll. Get in. We've got him. Round the outside. Lovely stuff. Okay, so Seb's come into the pits. Um, he couldn't get past Mick Schumacher. Can he stay ahead of Lance Stroll? I'm going to say probably not. 2.9, not a great stop, but it'll do. Can he stay ahead of Lance Stroll? Can he stay ahead of Lance Stroll? It's going to be tight. Oh, but he's done it. He's absolutely done it. Make Lance Stroll look like a goddamn idiot. Go on, son. Poor Sebastian Vettel might get overtaken here. I mean, he hasn't really got the pace, has he? Really, Seb, unfortunately. We'll give him all the tools he needs to defend, but I don't think he's going to be able to do it. Lando Norris is up in P11. He's managed to come out ahead of Ricardo, ahead of Sonoda, and ahead of Ocon by a decent amount. He's actually going to be fighting with Verstappen if Verstappen doesn't start pulling away. So, the pit stop for him has worked out an absolute bloody treat. 
he's got just that little bit of a gap there. And if he can keep that, then it's going to be absolutely amazing. As Sebastian Vettel continues to fight for P16 with Lance Stroll. Ah, Lance Stroll got past. That is disappointing. And Sainz overtakes Lando Norris as well. I mean, we kind of knew that was going to happen. Oh, when Sonoda and Ocon have really gotten in there now as well. That's a... Oh, oh God. Right, we'll switch to defend for Lando. Defend. Okay. Might be able to hold on. Might be able to. Okay. So the pit window has just opened for Lando Norris. Unfortunately, Lando has dropped back massively. Um, Sonoda and Ocon, they all just pretty much overtook him uh, within one lap. Um, is he, You know, it wasn't even really close, to be honest with you. And then after that, they just sort of sped off into the distance. So, unfortunately, Lando... He was batting above his average there. Um, he was battling cars that realistically he shouldn't really be battling. But right now is probably where he should be in P14. If he can stay ahead of Ricardo, that would be a very good race for Lando. So I'm happy with this so far. Uh, his pit window is open. Um, we're probably... We don't really have to pit him at the moment. We're going to keep an eye on Ricardo, see what he does in the next few laps. Meanwhile, Sebastian Vettel still clinging on. Still clinging on to Lance Stroll and Mick Schumacher. Um, he's currently doing a bit of harvesting uh, to try and get some more ERS and then maybe go for it before his third pit stop. Um... Or maybe after his third pit stop. I don't know yet. I haven't quite made that decision yet. But his pit window is coming up as well. In one lap. So we're going to keep an eye on Stroll and Mick. See what they do. Not a bad stop. Okay. Right. We'll go aggressive. We'll go aggressive for Lando. And hopefully he should quite easily keep his uh, margin over Daniel Ricciardo if Ricciardo has to pit again, which I imagine he probably does. Let's have a look at the tyres. Yeah, he will have to pit again. Hopefully Lando will make up the time. Maybe even extend the gap if we're lucky, but I doubt it. Oh! Fox. Sick, Lando. That's a spin. Oh, let's watch this bollocks. This was the Aston Martin. Uh, they spun the car. What a disaster. Yeah, what a disaster. That freaking gap to Ricardo has just opened up, hasn't it? If Ricardo pits this lap and comes out ahead of us. I'm going to beat him to death. You have no idea. Please don't pit. Please don't pit. Please, please, please don't pit. Okay, he hasn't. Come on, Lando. Get back in there. Oh, his tyres are overheating. Fuck's sake. Right, how's Seb doing? Seb's not really doing anything at the moment, so we're going to pit him as well. Uh, this worked previously so oh we're supposed to be putting them on softs sorry i didn't realize Push now. Right, so both of my drivers are just toddling about by themselves at the moment let's speed up time to the next till people start pitting and hopefully we'll find out that our pit strategy has worked because uh it worked in the last set of pit stops so why would it not work this time and the answer to that question is, it's worked for Lando Norris. He's come out ahead of Daniel Ricciardo. Hasn't really worked for Sebastian Vettel. 
But all is okay. Because Seb is going to go for it on Mick Schumacher at least. There we go. And he gets past him. Just like that. Brilliant stuff. The question is, when Lance Stroll pits, I'm... Oh, I... I thought Lance would pit this lap, but apparently he's going long. He's on the hard tyres. He can't be going to the end on them, can he? 39%. No, there's absolutely no way he'll make it to the end on them. He's got to be pitting this lap. Actually, he's going to be pitting for the softs, isn't he? So that tyre advantage that Seb... That I thought Seb was going to have is actually bollocks. He's not going to have it at all. And Ricardo's got the tyre advantage over Norris. Oh, uh, this could be bad. This could be very, very bad. Okay. The last few laps are going to get a little bit heated, ladies and gentlemen. Do not go anywhere. However, if you're a Sky Glass Q customer, whatever one of Crofty says, press the red button now. Right, Lance Stroll has pitted and he's come out miles behind her. Absolutely miles behind her. So, well, he hasn't come out miles behind her, has he? Because he's right there. But Seb's, Seb's okay at the moment. Seb is safe at the moment. Ah. Oh, fucking hell. Let's watch right, this then. Oh. Uh, yeah. I mean. I mean, Lance Stroll is not really catching up. So. It looks like it might just be between Mick and Seb, if we're lucky. Come on, Seb. Get him back. Get him back. Right, well, we're on lap 54. Now, Latifi's running wide, but... We've been doing a little bit of charging with Sebastian Vettel. And right now, he's got everything. We're going to give it everything. Lap 54 of 57. Sebastian Vettel. He's got all the toys. I'm going to give him everything to try and get past Mick Schumacher. And he's done it. Just like that. I didn't even need to give him all the toys, did I really? He's done it. 54. Right, he just needs to hold on to that for three more laps. Three more laps. That's all he needs to do. If he can do that, Sebastian Vettel will finish P16. I'm not worried about Lando Norris. Not worried about it, him in the slightest because the McLarens... The McLarens just have no pace whatsoever, to be honest with you. They've just lost it all. They haven't gained on us at all, so I'm not worried about them in the slightest. This is where the real battle is, though. This is where the real battle is happening. Sebastian Vettel versus Mick Schumacher for P16. I mean, this is... This is... On the edge of your seat right now. This I am on the edge of my seat. I'm not actually. I'm actually chilling. Just, you know, minding my own business. But... Can Seb hold on to P16? Or is Mick Schumacher going to take it from him? I don't know. But I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> uh, I have realised that Seb's tyres are only 6% from going off. Um, uh, Mick Schumacher's getting to get back past by the looks of things. Oh, that's a pisser. That is an absolute pisser, that, isn't it, really? Uh, Pass with an overtake there. I don't think he's going to get him back either. No, he seems to. He's dropped way back. He's dropped way back. Oh, that is annoying. 
That is annoying. God's sake. That is unfortunate. Lap 56 as well. He only had one more to go. Jesus Christ. Right, let's get on to the last lap then, shall we? Lando Norris, however, P14. I mean, fair play to him. What a signing he is at the moment. I know we haven't looked much at the uh, battle for the lead. But, um... Oh, shit. Thanks for that, Seb. Just conserve them as much as you can. No, it's not really working, Seb, to be honest with you. By the looks of things, you might get overtaken by Lance Stroll. Which is a slight problem, but we'll gloss over that. Anyway, I know we haven't been focusing much on the battle at the front, but that's because it's pretty much been dominated by one man. Um, Charles Leclerc, who for some unknown reason has the number 99 on his car. Um bit of a weird one but there you go Charles Leclerc has been pretty much all by his lonesome since Verstappen and Sainz crashed uh, speaking of which Verstappen managed to improve to P6 and Sainz has managed to improve to P8 he could possibly get P7 though if he can overtake Russell in the next few corners Oh, Lando Norris is locking up, going very wide. This could be a bit of drama here. No, we're okay. Um, Ricardo's too far back to do anything about it. So there we go. Lando Norris crosses the line. P14, Sebastian Vettel going to come home. P17. Fantastic stuff. Charles declares the winner. Perez... P2, Bottas, Bottas could get P3, what a shock podium that is, Jesus Christ, Bottas P3, Hamilton P4, Jesus, but all in all, for us, ugh. I mean, it was a tough day at the office for Aston Martin, as it usually is, but truth be told, I think we could be happy today. Lando Norris, P14, he got our targets. We set ourselves targets of 15th this weekend, and Lando Norris has achieved all them by the skin of his teeth. So, yeah. Personally, really happy with what Lando's done. Sebastian Vettel, even though he's P17, I think he did good. I think he, he probably could have done better, maybe. But all in all, I think we can be happy with this weekend. And that's good enough from Lando Norris this weekend. I agree. Martin had a good enough weekend, but there's still some margin for improvement here. I agree, they have some ironing out to do, but they certainly have what it takes to get there. And as this race weekend comes to a close, the team is eighth in the constructor standing. Yes! The teams now look ahead to the next round, where they'll view the doubt in the sand dunes of Saudi Arabia. Oh shit. <laughs> I hate Saudi Arabia, but sure. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was Formula One Manager. The very first weekend of Formula One Manager. I might. I might come back to it. I might do the full series. Who knows? Anyway, I haven't decided yet. Point is, Landon Norris, P14. Sebastian Vettel, P17. Not bad. We are meeting our objective. So we can be happy there. Anyway. Thank you all very much for watching. I shall see you all later. And perhaps, maybe, even in Saudi Arabia for the next Grand Prix, if I fancy doing it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Anyway, see you later.